Hi there, my name is Simon, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Flicky AI, the game-changing tool that's perfect for new creators or small channels looking to level the playing field on YouTube. In this tutorial, we'll start by setting up your Flicky workspace. Then I'll walk you through how to create your first video, customize your scripts, add AI voiceovers, and design attention-grabbing thumbnails Everything you need to get clicks and views and grow your audience. And to get the most out of this video, I highly recommend you actively follow along and do it with me because that way you're going to be able to master this tool a lot faster. First things first, click the link in the video description to get started. This will take you to the Flicky sign up page where you can create your free account. Once you're on the sign up page, click on the start for free button. You'll have a few sign up options. Choose email and then enter your email address. Click next. Then hit send verification code. Head over to your inbox, find the email from Flicky, copy the verification code and paste it into the box. Click verify. Next, create a password. Make sure it's got at least one number and one letter. Then enter your name and click finish. You'll be asked a couple of quick questions about how you plan to use Flicky. Answer those and you're all set. All right, so now we have successfully created our account and here we are inside the Flicky workspace. Now, before we start creating videos, I just want to take a quick look at Flicky's plans. They offer a free plan, which gives you five minutes of video credits per month. If you're looking for more features, like longer videos, no watermark, and access to a wider range of AI voices and stock videos, then paid plans start at just $21 a month. If you need some more information about what's included within each of these plans, I will leave a link to this pricing page down in the description. All right, now that we're inside the Flicky workspace, let me quickly show you around so you know where everything is, and then we can hit the ground running. We're on the home tab right now, and this is where it all starts. Whether you're creating videos, audios, thumbnails, or social media posts. Next, we've got files. This is where all your projects are saved. So you can easily come back, edit, or download them whenever you need. Then there's templates. There's a ton of ready-made options here, which is a huge time saver because it means you don't have to design everything from scratch. Now let's hit voices. Here's something really cool. So you can upload a two minute recording of your voice and Flicky will go ahead and actually clone it for you. Or click on custom to select exactly what kind of AI voiceover you want specifying the language, the accent, the tone, you name it. Finally, we've got brand kits. This is where you can upload your logo, set your brand colors, and choose your default settings. Do this once, and it will save you a ton of time, and it will keep your videos looking professional every single time. Now let's jump back to the Home tab to get back to the main dashboard. All right, now we're ready to create our first video. Here are the different ways you can create videos with Flicky. First up, there's idea or prompt. This is where you type in a sentence or two about what you want your video to be about. Script is where you can copy and paste your script text and the AI will then use that to create a video for you. We have blog or URL, which is where you insert a blog post or article link and then let Flicky take care of the rest. PPT is where you can upload a PowerPoint presentation to turn it into a video. Product is for if you have a product listing on Amazon, then Flicky can actually turn that into a video as well. Now edit is where you can upload your own footage and edit it. You can add captions, background music, voiceover and animations. Record is where you make a video by recording your webcam and or your screen. And empty is where you create a completely custom video from scratch. For now, I'm going to go with the idea or prompt option. You'll see a pop-up where you need to enter a sentence or two to describe your video. For example, I want to create a video for my Thailand travel YouTube channel. So I've added 
stunning video showcasing the top three beaches in Thailand. Next, adjust the duration slider to select how long you want your video to be. It can be anywhere from 30 seconds to 15 minutes. I'm going with one minute for this one. Under additional resources, you can upload any text, images, or clips that you want to include. Since I want Flicky to handle everything, I'm going to skip this step and click Next. Now choose the tone of your video. Pick from the available options or select Other to add your own. Then do the same for Purpose. Then choose your target audience, so who you're making this for, and click Next. For the aspect ratio, choose portrait for TikTok, shorts or reels, square for X or Instagram posts, and landscape for YouTube or Facebook. Since this video is for my YouTube channel, I'm going with landscape. Next, select your language and dialect for the voiceover. Flicky have over 80 languages. Let's stick with English and choose the British dialect. Now, under customization, we can decide if we want the AI to create our video using either stock media or AI media. So stock media is gonna be stock video clips and images, and AI media is where we just let AI create the scenes for us. I'll go with AI media, and then choose the cinematic style. Click Submit, and within a few seconds, Flicky will go ahead, generate your video, complete with a script, custom scenes, AI voiceover, captions, and background music. Now the video has been created, and here we are inside the video editor. At the top here, you've got your video title. You can click on it to change it if you want, but I'll leave it as is for now. Here on the left, you're gonna see all your video scenes, and on the right, you've got your video preview. Let's take a quick look at what we've got so far. Dreaming of your next escape? Thailand's beaches are calling, from powdery white sands to vibrant waters brimming with light. First thing I want to do is add some background music. We can let AI pick it by clicking Auto Pick. You'll get a prompt, so click Confirm. Now let's have a listen. Thailand's top three beaches you can't miss. Dreaming of your next escape? Thailand's beaches are calling. From powdery white sands to vibrant waters brimming with life. You can also go through and browse songs manually. Just click the audio file and browse through the options until you find one that you like. That's the background music sorted. Now let's move on to the video scenes. Think of these video scenes as the building blocks of your video, with each scene representing a different part of your script. You can drag and drop scenes to reorder them. And right under each scene, there are options to add new scenes, duplicate scenes, or delete scenes. Let's click on scene one to select it. Here you'll see the different layers within each scene. Right now we have voiceover, effect, shape, and media layers. To add more layers, just click add layer. And to remove a layer, simply hover over it and click the trash icon. If you want to change the AI voiceover, click here to see the other options. I'm going to go with Abby. Tick the box to apply this voiceover to the entire video and then click select. So Flicky has gone ahead and created the script for this video and it's this script that the voiceover and the captions are based on. So I recommend going through to double check your entire video script and make any changes as needed. And you do that here within each scene in the voiceover layer. So now I'm going to go through and edit the script for scene two. Now let's style our video captions. So let's go over to this menu, click subtitle, and now we can see these customization options. I'll change the font, make it bigger, and here I can choose to display a word at a time or a phrase at a time. I recommend choosing phrase for YouTube videos. The word at a time would be best for TikTok and Reels, that kind of thing. Once you're happy with your caption style, click Apply to all scenes, then click Apply. Now let's go back to our scenes. I want to change this image here. So you can do that in two ways. 
First, you can click this redo arrow to regenerate the image with AI. Click confirm and it will replace the current image with a new one. And you can keep generating new images until you find one that fits. Second, you can manually select the image. Simply click the stock icon here and browse the videos and images. I'm going to pick this one and hit the select button down here. Another thing I want to do is change my scene transitions. So to do that, I'm going to click on any scene and then head over to the right side menu. Under type, click this to preview the transition options. I'm going with blur. You can also change the transition sound effects. I'm going to go with the whooshing sound. Then once you're done, click apply to all scenes. Finally, let's look at your general settings. Click the gear icon in the top right, and here you can adjust the time gap between the scenes, which is measured in seconds. You can also change the aspect ratio to either portrait, square, or landscape. Then click save, and you're done. Once your video is done, click the download button here. Choose your preferred resolution and format, then click start export. Click start to confirm, and then just wait a few seconds. After that, preview your final video. Thailand's top three beaches you can't miss. And Funny. since I'm on the free plan, there's a flicky watermark on my video, but don't worry, it won't show if you're on a paid plan. Once you're happy with it, click download MP4 to save the video to your device. And now there's just one last thing we need to do, which is to create our video thumbnail. So let's click the Flicky logo in the top left to go back to the main workspace area. Then under the design section, let's click thumbnail. In this text box, let's add our video title and then click next. Now let's select the tone, purpose and audience and then click next. Since this is for my YouTube video, I'm going to select landscape. Language is set to English. You'll also have the choice to generate your thumbnail either using stock media or AI media. Let's go with the AI media, pick our style. I'm going with cinematic and then click submit. Once your thumbnail is generated, simply click download and you're done. If you found this flicky AI tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching.